Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, we're going to talk about the recent announcement from Google about Google Shopping. In case you missed it, Google announced that businesses will be able to list their products for free on Google Shopping. Previously, all of the results for Google Shopping were paid ads, but moving forward, it will work more like Google search results. There'll be a mix of paid and organic results for Google Shopping. So if you do sell products online, then you should absolutely get ready to list them on Google Shopping if you're not already. Let's take a look at what we'll need to do to get up and running. The first thing to point out is that organic or free Google Shopping results are currently only available in the US. I'm currently looking at the Google Shopping results for my location, which is Sydney, Australia. And if we look closely, we can see there is a small sponsored label above the results. If we click on this label, it tells us the results are ranked using a combination of bid and relevance. So these are all sponsored or paid results. I'm now going to enable my VPN so that Google thinks I'm located in the US and I'm going to refresh the page. We can now see Google Shopping results for the US and we can see that there are two labels. At the top, we can see sponsored and below these results, we can see about. If we click sponsored, we'll see a similar message to the one we saw previously. It tells us these are paid results. When we click about for the results lower down the page, it tells us that these results are only based on relevance. These are the organic or free Google Shopping results. If you're located in the US, then you can submit your products today. If you're located outside the US, then Google has said free product listings will roll out globally by the end of the year. So if you're not currently listing your products in the paid Google Shopping results, it's a good idea to get ready for when Google makes free listings available for your location. So what do you have to do to get your products listed? Well, if you're already listing your products with a shopping campaign in Google Ads, then you don't need to do anything. However, if you aren't listing your products with Google Ads, then you'll need to sign up for Google Merchant Center. Let's head there now. Merchant Center is where you'll send all the details about your products. If you only sell a few items, then you can enter them manually. Or if you have lots of items, you can create a product feed. Creating a feed lets you automate the submission of your products to Merchant Center. If you're setting up Google Merchant Center for the first time, then you'll need to create your account and you'll see a step that looks like this. There are options for selling products on your website and in physical stores. And under both of these, you can choose to show your products using surfaces, which are for the free or organic shopping results and you have the option of showing your products as ads. Let's say we only sell products on our website and we only want to show our products in the free results. In this case, we only need to select surfaces across Google. Once you've finished creating your Google Merchant Center account, you'll then need to add all of your products, either manually or using a product feed. Today, I'm going to show the option to manually add products, but you can find additional details about creating a product feed in the description below this video. We need to enter details for our product. This includes where we're selling our product. We also need a unique product identifier, details about our product, including its title, description, the URL for the product page on our website, and an image. We also need to enter the price, availability, and a few other details. Once you've provided all of the details for the product, you can click save. You can then preview your product, and as long as everything is entered correctly and you've met Google's requirements, your product will be eligible to show in the free shopping results. That's it. So that's how you can get up and running with Google Merchant Center to show your products on Google Shopping. Remember you'll need to opt in to surfaces across Google in order for your items to be displayed. 
and you'll also need to set up your products inside Google Merchant Center. You can do this using the data feed or as we looked at in today's video, entering individual items. Are you ready to list your items on Google Shopping? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.